morning. So today we're off to see Justin and JJ Performance. Now you might be wondering who Justin is or who's JJ Performance. Well, they're a recently opened shop in Ballarat in Victoria who specialise in LS building. I went there the other day and he had an abundance of boosted LS motors. Uh, there's a couple of ones that I'm going to show you today actually. We're on the way there. Just to give you a quick update, <laughs> I left my drone batteries at home so Instead of going straight to Justin's shop, we're now going back home so I can get the drone batteries and then head all the way back in town to go to Justin's shop. Great start to the morning. Okay, we have the drone batteries. Stupid me, but we're good now. Let's get going. Tell us a bit about the shop. What? Really? Sunnies? <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Tell us a bit about your shop. Well, two weeks old. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Made of many words. Justin, I reckon these boots would look better on you. <laughs> I toasted it. You toasted it? What'd you do? Burnt that rear end off with the spring nuts. I don't think I'm allowed to drive it again. Whoops. Just been painted, all freshened up. So this is it over here, is it? That's it. Oh, I see it's running on hopes and dreams. It is, we give the, what do you kill it at spring that, so we give the LS3 a freshen up, um, fresh set of ported heads, cam, fresh the gearbox up, fresh paint, so yeah, hopefully he looks after it, because I definitely didn't, and I'm probably banned from driving it. All right. That's my car, it's looking a bit sad. Um, Sold the running gear out of it. So gone LSA, single turbo, um, build auto. That's actually just on the back burner at the minute, so. Um, work you, motor's out. Giving it full head cam. Rebuild the gearbox. Um, yeah, sticker it up. Should be good. Smash sets on the way to get parts. <laughs> so here we got Paulie Atkinson's VX Calais. We had it painted for him, uh, red pearl through it. Um, full forged engine, 5.7. 
GT40 Turbo, Garrett, um, Turbo 400. So it's back here for putting True Track in it, finish it off, uh, go on Dino, and yeah, should be a cool car. So out of all the cars, what's your probably most favourite project you got going on at the moment? Probably the little Datsun. The Datto. Tell him. <laughs> so I need to edit that out, yeah? Yeah, he's got a big enough head, we don't need this very much. <laughs> I bloody love this thing, this is grouse. Yeah, big motor, little car. Yeah. It seems to be missing there. Yeah. Missing the crucial uh, go fast part. Next week. Next week? Next week. So I have to come back next week. You have to come back next week to hear it. This is obviously the engine building corner of the shop. Yeah, we just jammed it in here so we can get moving. What's this thing for? Um, that belongs to a little blue Corolla. A little blue... Ah, right. Yeah. So... Is that a name that we're familiar with? Um, I think it might have been around the traps a little bit. Um, goes by my name, Lynchy. So yeah, give him full forged engine, all the fruit. Um, it's about ready to hit the engine dyno next week, hopefully. Tune it up, get it in his car, and hopefully he looks after it. He will definitely put it through his paces anyway. He will. So what are we going to do with these stickers? I know what we should do. We're going to do a giveaway? Yeah, we'll do a giveaway. Do a giveaway. Yeah. Got an abundance of colours, so you get to have a colour of your choice. As long as it's black, and as long as it says JJ Performance. So what you need to do is like Justin's channel at JJ Performance and then like and subscribe to Sadistic Motorsport TV and next week we should announce a winner for one of these big ass stickers. They're a special sticker and they the are. cool kids get them. They are. Get your majestic red beard in the photo with them. <laughs> I actually don't know this dude's name. You don't know his name but you know you have his car. I like it. Let's see what his name is. We, we gotta work out what his name is, but yep. we have his car. It's Tyson, we, that's it. We got his keys? We do have his keys. Right. How much, how much does he like you? <laughs> well, he's got my rental car, so. He's got your. Oh, fair trade. I hope he's looking after it like I'm looking after his you. But, anyways, this one uh, full cam kit, Rico heads. Um, small cam, makes 317 kilowatt. Not too shabby. Yeah. Here we have VT Clubby 6 litre uh, L98. Uh, full head and cam, CNC heads, manual, clutch, 37s. Not a bad rig this. Makes 332 kilowatt. Got it back for some few little upgrades. Get it back on the dyno next week. See how that goes. I reckon if I put Vaseline between me ass cheeks and fart, I'd sound identical to the car that just drove past. <laughs> Here we just got a little 5.7, um, VCM 710, uh, did a converter, pipes, um, so a 346 in it, thread hit the dyno. Goes alright that one. Shreds tyres? Yep. No, I don't know. <laughs> not, silly. not that you're going to mid on camera. <laughs> so here we've got Brendan's VX Calais. Brendan's uh, hiding in the shed because he's too scared to be on camera. So he's full head and cam, 5.7, full Rico, we did clutch. The red rock covers make for another 20 kilowatt, yeah? Yep. 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 He wanted the he wanted the red, so give him what he wanted. Uh, makes 294 kilowatt, actually is a weapon. Yeah, this was in the dyno the same day I brought the yellow ute down on the dyno. Yeah, correct. Yes, good numbers that day. That was a fun day. Here we got Ben's VZSS. This thing is mint. Um, just done small cam, full gasket kit, CNC heads, uh, clutch, heavy duty clutch. Uh, just got bass tune in it. Um, hopefully, you hit the dyno next week. But yeah, this thing is mint. Should be good. Here we have... The Cadbury car. The Cadbury car. 
Now, this thing is a weapon. Um, it is all my running gear out of my VY. Uh, but customer wanted manual, so it went manual. So it is cam, six litre, all the fruit, um, new clutch, three sevens, big pipes. It makes 353 kilowatt on the hub. Whole lot of sauce. Oh yeah. And that was a... Luke wouldn't mind if we uh, smashed a set. Since it's on the earbuds. <laughs> <laughs> it was a um, full conversion. So Alloy Tech to 6 litre. So it is finished and... You just wanted to be in the shot, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. I know this car. Yeah, it is on guts. Absolute mm. animal of a car. Technically, it's on guts number two. Yeah. The original on guts kind of went flying off a trailer. Yes. And killed the tow car and everything. So this is 383. We've just really tidied a few things up. Um, rebuilt the box, manual box. Got it done for him. Um, yeah, fix a few things on it, serviced it, tuned it. I think it's making 363 kilowatt with the treads. So yeah, it is a whole lot of fun. VT with the doors welded shut, number one. So here we have Lee's VX Monaro. Um, Lee wanted a six litre, so we pulled his 5.7 out, give it a full gasket kit back to factory. Supplied a L98 6 litre, it has a very small cam, full rebuild, everything, bearings, rings, a whole lot. 39 true track, full pipes, full to Filippo pipes, it makes 335 kilowatt manual. We well, definitely got enough horsepower in the car park. <laughs> yeah, Lee's is one of my favourites. Here we got Mickey Borney's VX GTO. Didn't he have a um, turbo clubby for a while? Yeah, he did, yes. So he's upgraded to the GDO 383. We um, we got it. Uh, it was already built. Uh, we stripped it down to a short, did full head and cam, give her a bit of a birthday, build auto, converter, three sevens, makes 340 kilowatt at the hubs. So, yeah, one tough machine. Scott Kerr's blown VE. I think we built the short motor for that two years ago, probably more now. It's an absolute animal, I think. How much is this pushing? Uh, not too sure. Not too sure what it makes. So here, this is my sole favourite. Your sole favourite? Yeah. So we built this probably three years ago. 130,000 Ks on it, it is mint. It is a 5.7 head and cam, 1900 Harapalone. Uh, build auto converter, three nines, Harap diff. Um, it makes 406 kilowatt at the treads on pump. Not bad. Need to throw the 85 on it and crank her up a little. It literally <laughs> never gets driven, I think. The further it's been driven is when I pick it up once a year to give her a check over and a service. That's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> so here we got Dylan's HX. We built a LS24. Um, full manual turbo 400. Um, we've helped him with everything. He's done rod chop rear end in it. Full turbo kits back to get some things finished off and then dyno tune. This thing is a pretty tough weapon. Oh, going for a drop. This should be fun. So remind me, what's this thing make again? 406 kilowatt. 406. Yeah, right.
hear this thing running. <laughs> like that didn't take much convincing. Day. This is JJ Performance. Run by this guy. And I'm Ben from Sadistic Motorsport TV. So make sure you like and subscribe both my page and his page, which is JJ Performance. You'll find it. I'll put a link to it. And uh, have fun. My Monaro is better than your Monaro. No, mine's better. <laughs> How long have you had your Monaro? <laughs> this is my Monaro. <laughs> Mine, my Minara has got a got a body yeah, kit. Yeah, Your Minara doesn't. Same as yours, and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What how do you big? Reckon? How big's your shed? Definitely bigger yeah, than your shed. See, I'll, I'll go have a look at yours, eh? Yep. Oh, now this is your Minara. Yeah. Oh, that's flash under there. Oh, see that? Yeah. Well, my Minara doesn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's good. We're gonna have to hang in.